At least 8,000 protesters hit the streets of Brussels on Friday, furious over what they see as flimsy tax rules for Europe's rich. Earlier this week, the world's fourth richest person, Frenchman Bernard Arnault, said he might pack his fashionable bags and head to Belgium. If the new socialist government in France gets its way, the top rate of tax could soon hit 75%. As this lawyer explains, in Belgium there isn't capital gains tax when you sell assets, which is the case in France in regards to taxes on property holdings. In addition, Belgium, like most of the rest of the world, doesn't have a wealth tax and inheritance tax on property. Property in Belgium is between 0 and 7 percent, whereas in France it's much higher. The Louis Vuitton chief has said he will go on paying tax in France for the moment. That may change if President François Hollande carries out his election pledge to squeeze the rich. In Brussels, some say the number of those fleeing higher taxes from abroad is rising. The people who come are younger and younger families with children aged around 40 or 50. There are those who've retired, who stopped work and want to protect their assets. Alain Lefebvre is French but moved to Belgium to avoid paying capital gains on his large share portfolio. Today he publishes a magazine for French expatriates. He's deeply critical of how his homeland treats risk takers. We are very egalitarian in France. We don't like show-offs or big heads or people who succeed. We don't like entrepreneurs. Boss is a dirty word. But don't be fooled. Belgium is no tax haven. While capital gains might be low, income is taxed at around 50%, one of Europe's highest rates.